just going to go up there and hammer this one out to center field. First pitch of the game delivered at 105 Central Time and then on the all-time home run list. And she's going to get to a total here. There's number 50 for Lenny Malkin. Arkansas on top one nothing. We know the fans were trying to find a spot on the berm to catch a home run ball, but for Lenny Malkin, they might need to sit themselves in the parking lot. Her swing is so strong. Her hands are so quick through the pitch. This is a rise ball trying to get up and underneath her hands, but she takes her barrel straight to it. Look at how far that home run ball went with one swing of the bat. Going here for career home run number 50. And this one is hit down the center field off the bat of Casey Hoffman. Back to back, 20 Razorbacks, 2 nothing. There is just no break in this Arkansas offense. One through nine, they are going to put pressure on you. And Casey Hoffman follows up the home run by Lenny Malkin with a solo shot of her own. Coming from the left side, she gets a pitch that is low and away, moving up in the zone, and she takes her barrel straight to it. Again, so short and compact with her swing, but so much power as she drives that ball out to center field to extend the Razorbacks' lead joked with us that she felt like she had to hit the home run to fit in <laughs> with her teammates. There is another base hit for Hannah McEwen, 258 in her Arkansas career. It's her third hit of the regional. She's aboard with one day. Grounded to short. Sinicki to second for one. On to first. It's a double play. That strong Oregon defense again, Madison mentioned. They make it look easy. Gibson was two for three with a double. This one is hit well to right center field. It is on its way, and it is out of here. Solo home run, Daniel Gibson, her 20th of the season. Third home run of the game for the Razorbacks. Three nothing. This game is all about making those quick offensive adjustments. And Danielle Gibson wastes no time in this at bat. She watches the first pitch go by, and you could see that she was thinking about what she wanted to see in the very next pitch. And she clobbers this drop ball. Look at the way her barrel gets underneath this pitch, driving it out to center field. So perfectly timed. And that's what Arkansas does so well. Upstairs and a free pass. And that's what ground ball off the shortstop's glove. Here comes the first run for the Ducks. Heading into second is Carlson, and the throw gets away. Here comes the second run for the Ducks. The throw goes to third, and that one's into the runner. She'll get up and try to score. Heading for home, and it is a tie game here at Fayetteville. Can you believe that? Great things can happen when you just put the ball in play. Ariel Carlson with a close take on the pitch before comes around this one, hits it hard and it deflects out into left field. Hannah McEwen tries to get her out at second base and then the throw goes past Audrey Lavalle at two and the runners continue. Ball strike three, half bounces back to retire three in a row to retire the side. At, if that stays the same all game. Ellsworth with a solid single, so another one that's close. The next pitch, it's a hit. We saw that with Carlson and Gatto, who's 0 for 1 with a walk and a run scored. And it's a fly ball out to McEwen. So Oregon got a runner into scoring position with one out, but half works out of it. Ground ball, right side, base hit to lead things off. Taking a look at first was Carlson, but Humphreys had come off the bag, and Ellsworth takes it down the line. Sid, the 1-0.
Hard hit off the glove. And trying to get the out at second, and it's off the glove, and not stepping on first was Humphreys. Humphreys had it knocked off her glove and was about three feet away from first base, but it had him out there instead, trying to get the lead runner, and everybody safe. Nobody out, two on for Arkansas. Yeah. The bases are loaded. Skips away. Here comes the runner. It came quickly. McGowan dives for it. And Kilmer is safe. Arkansas is in front. 4 3. McGowan giving her best effort back behind the plate to try to make a play, a diving attempt to get that tag at home. Kildow taken off as soon as she sees it skip past McGowan. Looked like for a second McGowan thought about tossing it to her pitcher and then at the last minute decided she might get there quicker with the dive and just not able to get there in time before Callie Kildow slides in safely. They will intentionally walk Hoffman, who is homer today, and reload the bases. With the one, two. Slap too short. They look for the double play. And everyone back safely for Arkansas. Sidnicki grabs the liner, two down. Fly ball to center field. Hit well and deep. And off the glove of the center fielder, Williams. One run is in, a second run scores. The bases are emptied by the pinch hitter, Ryland Hedgecock. is a player on this team that has embraced her role as the go-to pinch hitter off the bench. Comes up with this huge hit out to center field. I thought for a second Jasmine Williams was gonna have a beat on it. It tips off of her glove and allows three more Razorbacks to come across the score. And you know those insurance runs are so important in these types of elimination games. Three more coming across for Arkansas, and they are fired up. This one is hit well to right center field, and it is out of here. KB signs a two-run home run, and Arkansas has blown it open in the sixth. if I've seen a faster home run trot. It was a home run sprint because the Hugs are waiting at the plate for KB sides. Nine, three, Razorbacks. KB has found some ways to get on base throughout this regional, but has yet to go yard until this very moment. She gets her barrel underneath this drop ball, perfectly timed up, and blasts this one out to center field to tack on additional insurance runs for the Arkansas Razorbacks. Ground ball, base hit for Bunker. That is her second hit of the game and her fourth hit in the two games against Arkansas. They're playing on the road here at Bogle. Line shot off the glove of Friedman. So this is how it starts for Oregon. Back-to-back -back singles to start the sixth inning. And the Ducks will naturally be able to hit the high pitches better. Long with a fly ball, taking a step in, now running back on it is Hoffman, tagging up and moving the third is Bunker, two down. And throughout that at bat, you could see Valerie Wong continuing to make adjustments in her swing. The 20 runs scored in this regional have come with two outs, but this one's popped up on the infield. Friedman has it, and half pitches out of trouble again. Another pop-up. Ten fly ball outs for half today. One away. Soft lander to KB sides. Two down. Like McKenna Cleather miss. Grounded too short. Friedman the first. For the second year in a row, the Arkansas Razorbacks will host the Super Regional.